Hey everybody, this is Bo Berman with Layer Origin Nutrition. Hope you're all doing well. And I wanted to uh, take the chance to answer a question that we get a lot as a company, which is about our pure HMO prebiotic and basically how to take it, when to take it, with or without food, the timing, etc. Um, so let's dive right into some of the questions that we get very often as a company at Layer Origin Nutrition. So a lot of people want to know if I'm going to take uh, human milk oligosaccharides, which we think is a great decision um, for gut health, immune health, cognitive function. The question becomes, do I, uh, first of all, how much do I take? You know, do I, do I take uh, five capsules, 10 capsules, one capsule, um, what have you? And so the answer is we recommend about 2000 milligrams per day for the average adult. And so, for example, if we're talking about our first HMO product that we ever released, uh, Pure HMO Prebiotic, these capsules, uh, you are going to want to take uh, two capsules initially, which is under 2,000 milligrams. We actually, on the label here, suggest that you only take two for the first three to five days so your body can acclimate to it. You actually don't want to take a ton of HMO all at once for the first time because you can actually have deleterious or negative effects to your system. So we recommend just two capsules to get started for the first three to five days, you know, assess your tolerance, see how you're doing, see if you're feeling better or worse or the same. Um, and if you, if, if you were to have too much, if you had three capsules right away on day one, you might actually have negative effects. And of course, that's the opposite of what we're trying to do here with um, this HMO supplement with human milk oligosaccharide supplementation to begin with. Um, so two capsules for the first three to five days, and then you up it to three capsules uh, per day thereafter, and that gets you to that 2,000 milligram mark or very close to it. Now, if you're having the powder, of course, which we offer the same formula, but in powder form, that 2,000 milligrams would be about one scoop of that. It's a small scoop. Um, you could cut that scoop in half for the first couple days, first few days, assess your tolerance, and then ramp up to having that one scoop per day. The next question we get is how do I take it? Well, it depends on the delivery form. So if you're having the capsules, a lot of most people just have these, pop a couple capsules with a glass of water. Um, you could also have them with juice, um, cold coffee, uh, potentially even hot coffee, but that seems kind of uncomfortable. But uh, really any liquid, you just, you have them. I mean, theoretically you could un screw the capsule, I guess, and, and pour that powder into something, but I don't know anyone who's doing that. Um, with the powder, it's a little more convenient, but just in a different way, of course. Um, these are easy to travel with. The powder is a little bit of a, you know, it's a tub, so you have to have the, the scooper. In terms of the powder, most people are scooping that into a beverage. It's pretty tasteless, so you can put it right in water, uh, hold hot or cold water, it would work. Um, you can put it in juice, really any liquid. Um, you can even put it in oatmeal and mix it in. Joel Green, the author of The Immunity Code, who's one of the biggest proponents of HMOs out there, Joel advises putting the putting HMOs inside of a smoothie, which you know he's gonna be having a, a protein shake or a, a fruit and kale smoothie every day anyway. So you just add a little scoop of um, HMO, just like you would do if it was whey protein or you know a vegan protein or collagen peptides, which are so popular right now. And it's as simple as that, and you don't even taste it. It's almost like you, you don't even know it's there and it just becomes part of your routine. So how about the timing? That's a big question we get is, do I take HMO um, in the morning, in the middle of the night, midnight, 9 a.m., 3 a.m.? And the answer is you can take it whenever. Just be consistent. So you could take it at midnight, you can take it right before bed, you can take it right when you wake up, um, you can take it in the middle of the night. But the answer is you want to try to take it at the same time every day. So if you're going to take it at 9 a.m., then stick within you know a window of, of about 30 minutes plus or minus of 9 a.m. and stay consistent with when you take HMO. Um, another question we get oh so often is uh, about HMO is whether you can whether you should take it with or without food. So I alluded to it earlier when I said the oatmeal, but the real answer, and this surprises people, is that you can take HMO with or without food. It actually doesn't matter. And that sounds crazy because there's so many supplements and medications we've all heard of that say very specifically, very strictly, take with food or take on an empty stomach. But with HMO, it's different, and that's because of the way of, of really what it is. And HMO is a prebiotic. Of course, it's the one that Mother Nature intended because it, it's based on mother's milk, um, breast milk. But 
prebiotics are indigestible. So it's gonna work its way through your system down to the colon where it's then gonna work in concert with probiotics and, and beneficial bacteria. And so it doesn't actually get digested the way that a piece of food would. Um, and therefore it doesn't matter if you take this with or without food because either way it's gonna make it down to colon and your microbiome and work in concert with the other bacteria there. And a lot of people end up having very positive results, um, symptoms, negative symptoms that are going away with just within just a couple of days, within a week of taking HMO. Other people don't really feel a difference. And you know, it might remind you of um, taking, you know, probiotics in some cases where maybe it's balancing out your gut, but you don't feel it actually. And then other people, maybe they feel a lot better or see a reduction in gas or bloating or stomach pain or cramping or, or what have you. So it just depends, of course, person to person, everyone's system's different. Everyone's baseline diet is different. So it really depends on what you've been eating. Are you having prebiotic foods already like banana um, or not? And, and so these are some of the questions and, and what it depends on. But um, hopefully I was able to answer some questions that you may have had or have about HMO. And uh, of course, you know, as a company, Layer Origin Nutrition, um, we prefer and advise that you get your probiotic bacteria, your prebiotic uh, bacteria through whole food sources. We think that's the best way to do it. We're also not fools and we recognize that not everybody is going to have the availability or convenience of, you know, having um, kimchi every single day or a banana every single day or these certain you know, dandelion root every single day or whatnot. And that's why we make the products that we make um, to provide a convenient alternative that is natural and that is healthy and that is safe. And so we hope you um, are enjoying uh, Pure HMO if you've tried it. And if you haven't, um, as always, you can get 15% uh, off your first order at layerorigin.com. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.